A Lincoln County woman whose limbs were amputated after a kidney infection is now just days away from moving into her new forever home. A groundbreaking ceremony was held today to, that will allow Cindy Mullins, a quadruple amputee, to move into a brand new accessible home soon. ABC 36's Anna Medina was at that ceremony and spoke with Cindy and those who came all together to make it possible. I've been blessed with this life now. It's a blessing. It's not a curse. Um, God doesn't punish you for things. Um, he gave me this life because he thought I could handle it. Each day presents new challenges for Cindy Mullins of Lincoln County. Left with no arms or legs, Cindy is now forced to relearn things many of us take granted every day. So my electric hands, so I'll use the hooks first and learn to um, adapt with that and then we will move to my electric hands that will feel um, the nerves and senses in my body and that will make my what look like hands and fingers move. After suffering from complications from a surgery for a kidney stone, Sydney went into sepsis which led to the loss of both her arms and her legs. It's the most humbling feeling um, to have people stop me or tell me that I'm in an inspiration. and It's just hard for me to imagine, but it is such a blessing. But the spirit of Cindy remains more vibrant than ever. And now she has something to look forward to, a new home. By the power of prayer and God's blessing and hopefully not bad weather, um, we'll get a house built in 10 days. The 41-year-old adding that throughout this journey, her husband has been her rock to lean on. God knew I needed him before I needed him. So he's been definitely the stability in our family household and <laughs> does more than I could ever imagine doing. And he truly is the love of my life. 10 days to build a dream home with the goal to make it easy for Cindy to have access to anything she may need. Some of the special things that we're doing are custom cabinets. Even the, the toe kick height is a little bit higher to accommodate her wheelchair. Her countertop height is going to accommodate for her in a wheelchair as well as when she's using her prosthetics. James Crocker, the CEO of Hog Technologies from Florida, is the man helping make the home a reality. September 9th will mark the beginning of the 10-day project. Uh, we will raise the walls, frame, and dry it in in one day. And, uh, and then on the 18th at 2 p.m., uh, there will be a home reveal. As construction plans continue underway for the new home. I'd like to raise awareness trying to make the world and our new builds more universally um, appropriate for all different types of people. If we can go to the moon and back, uh, we can build a house in 10 days. In Stanford, Anna Medina, ABC 36 News Now. Well, although the Mullins family has received help, they will need more. There's a GoFundMe page set up to help her with expenses and anything else that may arise. You can find that in this article on our website. Again, that's WTVQ.com.